Hey, what's up guys, Sal here and welcome back to the Tech Talk TV. Samsung Mobile's chief DJ Ko got interviewed by the investor and was asked rather interesting questions. The most interesting one is about the Note 8's battery size as it comes with a smaller battery than the Note 7. The Note 7 shipped with a 3500 mAh battery pack while the Note 8 includes a 3300 mAh. DJ Ko said that there are a couple of reasons why Samsung was able to use a smaller battery in the Note 8 including including the fact that the Snapdragon 835 and Exynos 8895 are 10 nanometer chips and are more efficient because of it. He also mentioned that users are able to adjust their battery use based on the smartphone usage patterns which also makes the battery more efficiency and says that the phone will maintain more than 95% of the battery capacity even if you use the phone over 2 years. When asked about the Note 8 sales as in how many units is the company is expected to sell, he said that he expects Samsung to sell over 11 million Note 8 units as the company was able to sell 11 million Note 5 handsets and is looking to break that record with the Note 8. He also commented on critics regarding the Note 8 which are saying that the Note 8 does not come with a wow factor. DJ Ko says that you can never please everyone, every person demands something else and he also says that the company took customer service into account while planning for the Note 8. Samsung mentioned the Note 7 at the beginning of the Note 8 event and by doing that owned up to its mistakes which is exactly what the company wanted to do according to DJ Ko. He says that Samsung is not trying to run from its mistakes but learn from them and improve its products. The Note 8 is the first phone from Samsung to feature a dual camera setup and according to a new report, the Galaxy S9 will follow suit with this latest trend. According to KGI's Ming-Chi Ko, Samsung will integrate a dual camera onto the Note 9 similar to what's found on the Note 8. KGI didn't dive into any technical specifications for the S9's camera system though. Adding dual cameras to the Galaxy S9 seems like a logical move for Samsung, but I'll be interested to see if the company sticks with a tele photo lens for the secondary sensor or if it decides to try out something else. As previously reported, Samsung will stick with a rear mounted fingerprint scanner for the Galaxy S9 while it continues developing the under display one for the Note 9. It's still too early to really start speculating more about the Galaxy S9 or Note 9 seeing as how the Note 8 was just announced a couple of days ago. But these reports are surely making Samsung's 2018 lineup look rather enticing. So that being said, let me know what you think about this in the comment section down below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.